When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I did very much indeed. Och den här gången ska jag tänkt att inte fucka upp. Och nu tar vi den röda ventilen. Nej, okej. Då ska vi. I have a choice to do. Disable generator we will do this time. Uh, yes, so. Uh, okay. Blackness. Power gone. All alone. Väldigt odramatiskt. And then. And then. Ett ljud. Oh. Oh. Jag känner mig som käll. Inte käll alltså men från porter. As he stepped through the door. Into the fresh outside air, a feeling of liberation rushed through Stanley's body. I'm free! He had seen power, he had seen enslavement, and he had destroyed it. The good end, I the suppose. The underling was in control now. He had found his leading role. Stanley never discovered why everyone had gone missing, nor how and when he had come under the machine's control. But it didn't upset him terribly. Because he knew that this was how things were meant to happen. All he felt was a delight unlike any he had ever known before. I'm so happy. Never again would he follow someone else's orders without question. Never again would anyone tell Stanley where to go, what to do, or how to feel. I am myself. No more bosses. No more instructions on a screen. Stanley decides for himself now. I've got to take a smoke. And he stepped out into the world. And he felt the cool breeze upon his skin, and Stanley was happy. I'm the cold breeze, Joe. Well, yeah, it's right. Okay, so I thought that was the good end. Is it? Or? Jag applåderar för att jag har ingen aning om det hörs eller för att det bara låter helt skumt. Kevin Brighting, suverän skådespelare i. Alltså, kul för det. Remastering, vad kommer det och allt det där. Jag får bara säga så att det var det bästa slutet. Eftersom vi lydde alltid, men det var inte något dugg deprimerande faktiskt. Så det skulle vara typ att alla slut var likadana. Typ att han dog hela tiden. Men då gör vi som så här att vi... Okej, vi kollar vidare här, det är ju... Nine Inch Nails var musikuppbollen någonstans. Frank Sinatra. Franska, ryska, italienska. Ja, så vi ska ta och gå ner för trappan tror jag vi tar det ja, den här gången. Ni minns den trappan när man går upp till chefen så går man ner istället. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ja, det gjorde jag. Nej, det gjorde jag inte. But Stanley just couldn't do it. No, I couldn't. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, of admitting that he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired <laughs> for that. And in such a competitive economy, was it really worth taking that risk? All because he believed everyone had disappeared. <sighs> his boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. What did? Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Everyone I know simply <laughs> vanishing out of the blue, there's almost no other explanation smarter, for it. Smarter, smarter. And a nagging fear began to creep mm -hmm. up in his mind. Questions that had been there all along. He just hadn't put his finger on them yet. What did film? For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <laughs> Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? The game master. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Was he just walking around in circles? Where am I? He thought. And the more he found himself unable to answer these questions, the more questions continued to arise until he came to the issue that had been slowly boiling until he could ignore it no longer. Hey, forlot. Why is there a voice in my head? Dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking. <laughs> Suddenly, every door slammed shut. No! Stanley screamed. I need to get out of here. I need to know that there's something out there. I need to know it's not just all in my head. 
clutched at his skull as the voice grew harsher and the music in the background rose higher and higher. And then, moments before collapsing to the ground, Stanley clenched his fists and screamed to anyone who might be listening, I'm not real! I'm not real! Don't believe any of it! None of it's real! Uh, and then everything went black. Uh, oh. <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Okay. She got dressed, went to work, <laughs> clocked in, clocked out, and then she walked I home. See you. But her walk on this day was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Uh, okay. Moments after seeing him, she would turn, run to the nearest police station, and uh, call for an ambulance. But for just a few brief seconds, she merely stood there unable to move. The tragedy was not the death of a single person. It was that she would never know this man's story, never hear in his own words what had happened to him, or what he believed had happened to him. For to know these things would be to exist inside the head of the man himself. So all she could do was observe from a distance and pity him. But Mariella had places to be and people to meet with, very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and indeed the rest of her life. She stood there for only a moment, looking down at the body, and then she ran. This was not the correct way to the employee no, lounge, it is and Stanley not. knew it perfectly well. Yes, I did. So he turned left at the no. first open door no. and walked back in the right direction. I refuse to do yes. Stanley that. was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh. Maybe this is why everyone had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening as him. And since he was walking into the middle of nowhere and thus ruining the entire oh, yeah. story, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. Yes, I will. So when he came to the elevator and the doors opened, he stepped inside and pushed the See button some. to go up. up <laughs> That's all. Oh, we have got it. We have got it. We have got it. We have got it. We have got the Stanley Parable! So set. Oi! Overwhelmingen. Snap his data for it. Yeah. Ingen som talar med oss. Woo! Uh, den där känner jag från Half-Life 2. Uh, men jag kommer igen. <laughs> Hoppa väl i, ja, eller? Ouch. Det här kan inte vara bra. Det här kan inte vara bra. It almost perplexed Stanley that he had actually gone and stepped into this metal trap. Varför gjorde jag det? After all, val. it should have been no surprise that this thing would lead him Amen. to his death. But he thought to himself, this is simply the price to pay for ruining a perfectly good story. <laughs> So he resigned and willingly accepted his fate, the inevitable end toward which he had spent so long stumbling. Farewell, Stanley. Sen det går en väg där borta. Kan inte gå ut här på vis. Tryck på allt. Tryck på allt. Fuck. Nej, vänta nu. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as he sent his subject down the conveyor belt and into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Vad hände med rösten? Och varför... Ah... Oh, shit. Det här var intressant eftersom att nu bytte... Okej, vad var det nu? Den där killen har ju inte ljugit tidigare. It's a shame then. That for all his work, yeah. it was such a meaningless victory for the narrator. Did he really think he would accomplish anything by murdering this disposable vessel? What the fuck? Nej. 
Vad eh, vad va, va, va fasen händer nu? Every possible choice Stanley could make had been designed for him long before he ever set foot here. The narrator wanted to kill him. Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start. What? Men förut så kom jag ut ut ju och då dog jag väl inte. Jag kom ju ut förut. När jag tog det röda. There's no salvation for either of these two, I'm afraid. The narrator had as little power over Stanley as Stanley did over the paths that he walked. Uh, men jag överlevde ju två tillfällen. But listen to me. This story is not over. Hmm? You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. 